in the GOP-controlled House. In Washington, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. President Biden and former President Trump will stand on the debate stage tomorrow night in Atlanta. Ahead of the big moment, the Hill sat down with our Sally Hernandez to understand each campaign strategy and vice president talks. We have Sharosky Rye with the Hill talking to us about what the debate preps are looking like. What are both camps saying? Well, right now, it's really everyone is in intense preparation. We know President Biden is at Camp David with 16 of his closest advisors and aides, and he's prepping furiously for the debate. We've heard from President Trump on his platform, Truth Social, as well as at his rallies over the weekend where he's talking about, you know, how he's been prepping. And and really, we really don't know how he's prepping yet because he's not let us into, um, you know, his methodology for prepping for these debates. But we know that President Trump has been meeting with uh, people at the Hill, former um, aides at the White House that worked under him. And and he's really trying to get his policy and and where he stands on certain issues straight. So right now, intense preparation. Mm -hmm. And we've had a few sniping from both camps as well. So with two days to go, nothing but excitement here in D.C. What do you you think we should expect when it comes to these two? Are we going to there's no live audience, right? So what are we going to expect? What are they going to say? There's no live audience and the rules are pretty clear. You know, the mics will be muted while the other candidate is speaking. And we know there's no props or notes allowed. Mm -hmm. But this is a very high stakes debate, given just how close both President Biden as well as former President Trump are in polls. Now, we know there are some big looming questions over both candidates, given their age. You know, Biden is 81, Trump is 78, and that has been largely a concern for voters. We also know that majority of the voters right now are disengaged, and this is the first chance both candidates really have to appeal to a wider audience. We know that most people and majority of people polled are going to tune into this debate in two days. So so what's really happening is that, you know, we know that this is a very high stakes moment for both candidates and both candidates are really going to want to hammer in on some of the issues and where they stand on things like abortion. We're going to hear from President Biden, who is really going to, I think, go after former President Trump um, for the Roe v. Wade, for appointing the Supreme Court justices um, to that bench. Um, we also know that President Trump will go after President Biden for things like inflation, for things like the economy, on border security plans. So both candidates are really going to have their key issues lined up that, and they're going to be on the attack. Yeah, there's not going to be a shortage of topics. That is for sure, like you just talked about. What about the vice P pick, though, for Trump? Any Any insight on that from the Hill? Well, that's the most anticipated announcement that everyone is waiting for for, from former President Trump, right? We know and sources have told the Hill that there are really three top front runners for this position. We have Governor Doug Bergen, we have Marco Rubio, and um, we have J.D. Vance, who are all really fun front runners. We also know other people have been vetted for this process. And, you know, former President Trump has been teasing the announcement a little bit. Mm -hmm. He knows people are waiting for this announcement, right? So so he is teasing it a little bit. He said uh, to reporters at a rally recently that he had made his decision and that that person is going to be in Atlanta. So, you know, we know he's going to make this announcement at the GOP convention in Milwaukee next month. Um, So really, um, everyone's just waiting for, for former President Trump to announce his decision at this point. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for answering our questions and joining us today. The 4th of July.